like she's selfish we re like I'm, I'm i'm speaking to myself as well we really need to check to check our hearts and our motives because even when we quote the scripture we speak about god giving us the desires of our hearts we don't speak about delighting ourselves hello welcome back to my youtube channel happy valentine's day happy love day yay i hope you guys were spoiled today i hope you received gifts amazing things and you were told that you are loved if not i hope you did it for yourself welcome to a video of faith friday if you haven't subscribed please click that subscribe button i'm waiting so today i just wanted to share something that uh, was placed in my heart during my devotion um so yesterday and today yeah things that i've just been thinking about lately and it's not going to be a long video it's just something quick quick right yeah so i'm gonna be reading from my bike so guys my bible is so pretty i just always want to show it off first of all let's talk about that it's so pretty so you can color in and then there's also places to journal so like when god speaks to you you can just write you know it's just it's just awesome and this is what it's inspire and the version is nlt I find that NLT explains things nicely. It's weird because I'm so used to New King James and NIV, but I like it. Yeah? So, uh, what I've been thinking about basically is motives, right? So, basically, how do I check my motives? Um, do we really check our motives? We quote scripture so much which you know just ask and you'll receive and then we say we we know the word which jesus was saying that um you must ask for whatever in his name and the father will give it to you or will do it for you but why are we asking for those things you know yeah so i am gonna read now i closed my bible and as it was open where i wanted it now it's just closed and now i have to find the scripture i found it i'm gonna read from the book of james chapter four no? basically from verse one he's talking about how you have quarrels among you because you don't have what you want and all of that and then you don't have what you want because you do not ask god for it and then here is my verse of focus verse 3 says and even when you ask you don't get it because your motives are all wrong you want only what will give you pleasure so basically james here is teaching us something which yes most of you don't have stuff because you don't ask you don't have what you need you don't have what you desire because you don't ask and then abu ya reveal another matter which those of you who ask are not receiving because your motives are wrong um you are motivated by selfish ambition right and then i was also looking at proverbs chapter 16 verse 2 it says that people may be pure in their own eyes but the lord examines their motives guys how deep is that like you can say all the right things you can say lord i want this so that i can give to the poor but the lord examines your motives and if those aren't really your motives then he knows even though you want to do something for the poor if your motive is so that you'll feel good about yourself so that people may know you and see you you know your motives are not pure they are still about you um and also in everything that we do also i think it's important to check our motives when we serve when we go to church all the time when we do all these things that we say we are doing for god what is our motives because sometimes that is revealed when we want something from god or we feel like we deserve something from god and we don't have it 
and then it's revealed most of the time when because we stopped serving him as if we were serving him because we wanted some sort of payment you know and yes god rewards people but also you must understand that he's a good father right so he doesn't reward you by what you think this is this is this should be my reward he he rewards you appropriately so he's not obviously even now if you have a child and you want to reward your child for doing chores or whatever you're not going to give a two-year-old something that's going to kill them you know it it doesn't make sense right so you don't give them god like you don't give them what they want you give them what's good for them and that's the same with god but sometimes we are so fixated in what we want and then we serve because sometimes guys we even serve for promotion you know you you are diligent in church you are diligent in the things of god and Try, serving for promotion in the workplace is okay but in the church guys you're literally serving and always there just so that they can notice you and then probably put you up there yo guys mm -mm. and then i was also um looking at i psalm was it psalm i think so yeah it was psalm the 37th psalm and it says that um take verse four take delight in the lord and he will give you your heart's desires i feel like most of as guys i feel like it's selfish <laughs> we re, like I'm, I'm i'm speaking to myself as well we really need to check to check our hearts and our motives because even when we quote to the scripture we speak about god giving us the desires of our hearts we don't speak about delighting ourselves in god so um De delighting yourself in God speaks about finding great pleasure in God, finding satisfaction, contentment in God. And basically, I think that's where we need to start even before we pray for things. That's where we need to start because the more we spend time with God, the more we find our greatest satisfaction in Him, then His desires become our desires. And then when we pray, we know that it comes from a good place. We know that our motives are in check. We know that we are praying in accordance to His will because I think First John, First John, First John, somewhere there, it says that um, uh, when He writes, He says that basically you should ask whatever you ask for that is in his will in accordance to his will then you will get it you see so there's that thing which it's not just which everything you ask for it's just given to you is it in the will of god and how do you know the will of god when you spend time with him delight yourself in the lord delight yourself in the lord spend time with him spend time in his word spend time in his presence you know just guys be with god be in him and him in you just love on god and let him love on you and abandon your own desires abandon your own will and then he will give you desires that please him so that when you ask you are asking of things that are going to please him when you have them so it's going to please him basically to give you the desires of your heart yeah guys that's where i was let's check our motives let's ask god to check our motives sometimes it's hidden from us but if we truly ask him and we truly want to know and we say lord reveal my motives he's going to reveal them and it's not always going to be pretty it's not always going to be nice but at least you will be aligned all of us will be aligned and we'll ask for things that matter yeah that's it today for my video because i'm so happy now because it's love day that's why i'm so lively like it's the day of love but remember that it shouldn't end today it's every day is love day every day god loves you every day you should love god every day you should love your neighbor as you love yourself okay anyways thank you so much for watching i nearly said thank you so much for subscribing you know what that's a word so if you haven't subscribed click that subscribe button okay okay and thank you while you do while you do that okay 
yeah and yeah like if you liked it and comment tell me what you think and then i'll see you guys next time with another video i love you but god loves you more